Yo, I'm just finding out about this fight. I didn't know Aaron McKenna fought over in the UK in the undercard of the Isaac Chamberlain fight. <laughs> I just literally found out about this fight less than five minutes ago. And I can't find it anywhere online. I tried to find footage of it on social media. I can't find it either. Um, but the fight was scheduled for eight rounds. Uh, Aaron McKenna fought against Carlos Gallego. Uh, fight went the whole eight rounds. And... Aaron McKenna won the fight by unanimous decision, improving to 14 and 0, seven wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. I remember years ago, years and years ago, when you know I, I had my boxing sphere channel and my Igor Warrior channel. When I heard about McKenna and how he was turning pro at the age of like se I think 17, 18, like he was young when he turned pro, and um, and I was like, huh, let me keep an eye on him. And you know, start following his fights, and I, you know, I, I saw his pro debut and all that. And <laughs> next thing you know, I kept forgetting to follow his career. And fast forward five years later, or four, four years, yeah, four years since he turned pro. I, I, I missed out like on a lot of fights. Like, wow, he's, I, I, man, I've been slacking when it comes to McKenna's career, but he, he seems like he's somebody to keep an eye on. Um, you know, he started off fighting at 150, like 150, 147, but now it looks like he's all the way up to 160 now. He's definitely putting muscle. He looks, he, he doesn't look like that skinny boy he used to look, that's for sure. <laughs> so, so yeah, Iron McKenna is, is looking like he's a promising fighter from Ireland. Uh, definitely somebody to start paying attention to. Definitely somebody I need to start paying attention to. He won this fight all across all scorecards, 80-72. Uh, now... You know, still undefeated, giving uh, Gallego his second loss in his pro career. Um, apparently, Gallego failed to make weight going into this fight, and uh, and yeah, you know, start paying attention to Aaron McKenna, man, because he seems like he'll 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 eventually get in a big fight in the next couple of years or so. That's for sure. So start paying attention. Don't be like me, who said that I'll start following him back in 2017, 2018, and next thing you know, I completely. Uh, <laughs> missed out like three years of his career so um so yeah definitely i'll do a better job I'll, I'll do a better job you know as a boxing fan i do my best to follow as many fights and fighters as i can and uh mckenna is, is one to keep an eye on that's for sure so um you know looking forward to uh seeing the future of mckenna and following the future of mckenna this year how many times did he fight this year he fought three times this year he might he'll most likely fight three times next year as well i mean with covid uh, I know there's a new variant in this and that, but, you know, with COVID no longer, pretty much with the restrictions kind of lowing down, uh, expect to see more fights from all these fighters. So, let me know your thoughts and comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Good job again to McKenna on the win. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.